Hey everyone, welcome back to the Meters YouTube channel. Today we are going to be making breaded lamb brain. So if you haven't had lamb brain before, or really any type of brain, like I've tried veal brain before, uh, veal brain, lamb brain, I don't find that it has much of a taste as one would imagine. It's not like a strong um, organ taste like liver. It's actually quite light. If you've had sweet breads before, I would say it's kind of similar. Um, so I'm just gonna get right into the recipe and we'll start off with the lamb brain. That's what you're gonna need. I'm making this whole package today. There's about nine of them in here. They're very small. Um, they look like that. And you will also need eggs and pork. Panko. So the pork panko that I got, I ordered online and it's, it comes from the U.S. So if you're watching this and you live in the, in the U.S., I envy you because I paid so much um, for the shipping on these. But it's totally worth it because they are uh, fried in their own fat. So when I first started eating animal-based, I was a sucker for pork rinds like I would go to the I'd go to Walmart and buy an entire bag and devour it and then I learned the unfortunate truth that pork rinds a majority of them are fried in vegetable oils no wonder I used to feel so sick afterwards so if you can get your hands on these pork pankos uh, pork rinds I highly highly suggest them I'll put the link in in the information below just so you guys can have access to it as well. And what else are you gonna need? A pot. So don't laugh. I realized I don't have a pot. And that's because I don't really need a pot. I make my bone broth in the Ninja Foodie. But I'm gonna give it a go with this. It should work. So Let's get started. This recipe is a little bit of a traditional spin on my parents' recipe. I'm, I don't think it's a Romanian recipe. I think other cultures do it too, but it basically requires to poach the brain in hot water for about three to four minutes. So that will kind of actually cook the brain a little bit. And then we're gonna skip the flour, skip the vegetable oils, and instead, we are going to uh, coat the lamb brain in egg and then in the uh, pork rind pankles. And then we're gonna fry the brain in beef tallow. If you have uh, bacon grease, bacon fat, um, or duck fat, anything, any kind of animal fat works. I just happen to have a lot of beef tallow, so I'm gonna be using that. Step one, fill up your pot with water and bring to a boil. I've got my water boiling over there and I'm gonna now add each individual brain to the water. Let me show you how. So I've got my brains over here, my pot, and I'm just gonna use my hands and I'm just gonna add each little brain. I'm gonna be gentle as they do kind of break a little bit. So just grab what you can and be gentle, don't burn yourself. And we're gonna uh, boil these brains for about three to four minutes. They do not need to be fully cooked as we will be frying them up in beef tallow afterwards. All right, it has been three or four minutes. I'm going to use my little spoon here to take the brains out gently as I don't want them to kind of break apart. I'm just gonna put them on a plate.
And that's what they look like. So let's move on to the next step. I've got the lamb brains here, poached, lightly boiled, and I'm gonna let them cool off. And in the meantime, I'll show you guys how to prep for the breading stage. So I've got a little bowl here and I'm gonna use three eggs for now. We'll see if we need more. So just crack open three whole eggs. This also depends on how many lamb brains um, you'll be making. I'm making a lot and we definitely won't eat them all today. I'm just gonna store them in the fridge for later, for tomorrow. Maybe bring some over to my mom's house. So I've got three eggs and I'm just gonna use a little fork to beat them up completely. And I do want to add a little bit of salt to the egg mixture, but not too much because the pork panko um, is already salty, so I don't want it to be too salty. Sorry, I had a little, uh, I had a little something in my way. She's trying to get in on the, on the, on the video and on the food. Okay, back where we left off, I added some salt to my egg mixture. And I've got a plate over here where I'm going to pour my pork panko. So I gotta start a new pack, which reminds me I have to order some more because this stuff is fantastic. I highly recommend it if you haven't tried. So I'm just going to fill my plate up about this much and just fill it up as you go if you need more. So let's get started. So I put like about two to three tablespoons of beef tallow in my cast iron and it's just melting down and we're going to do a medium heat and you really just want to crisp these guys up but you don't want to overcook them. They are already poached so they're, they're halfway there. They're kind of cooked. They're not completely raw and if you cook them too much they're going to turn out dry. Here is the finished product and Daniel's gonna go ahead and cut some up for himself. Right. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Cool. Oh, we got a little doggy that wants some too. How is it? It's incredible. Incredible, right? Mm -hmm. Very light taste. Super light, very sweet. You would never thought it was brain. That's amazing. 
So that's it you guys, that's what it kind of looks like and it's super easy to make. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you'd like to watch the other two videos on the screen and show some love and support, we'd really appreciate that. We love making recipes for you guys to show you how fun, diverse, and nutritious this way of eating can be. Hope you guys have a great week.